Okay, so this video is meant to make the production possibilities frontier easier to understand. Oh -ho. Okay, so basically, um, with time constraints, this is uh, basically pos production possibilities frontiers graph. Ooh. You have a x y coordinate system. Um, not really that. Yeah. So you have bottom the quantity of guns, Ooh. and on the y value you have quantity of butter in gallons. I'm not sure if you can see that well. Yeah, I'll bring this in a little closer. Okay, so basically, um, the blue value, oh, the red, I'll say the red value, is the amount blue that, value. that an economy can make. Okay, so the red value is what an economy can make. But this blue line, this blue line right here, along the edge, that's the maximum an economy can make. And so if you, if an economy produces at the line, it's called efficient because you're using all your resources to make as much output as possible. Yeah. So in this graph, in this frontier curve, the A and B, points A and B, they're called efficient. Yeah. Okay, so, quiet. And, um, and point C is where it's inefficient because you're using the same amount of uh, resources and supplies as A and B, but you're making less. So, maybe for example, here lights come back. So, for example, an efficient, yeah, an efficient point was 110 guns and 60 gallons of butter, and 50 guns and 140 gallons of butter. But in the inefficient case, you're only making 50 guns and 50 gallons of butter. Yay! So it's inefficient because you can be making this much or this much. On the other hand, point D is in, it's unfeasible. It's impossible to get because it's outside of the production possibilities. Okay. So it's outside. We only have limited resources at our disposal, and this combination is impossible to make with the amount of resources we have. So why is this a curve? So basically, the production possibilities frontier is a curve because um, we're using, where everyone is good at different things. So people specialize. So there's people that are good at making guns and people that are better at making butter, okay? So in the extreme case, if, if we, um, make if everyone let's say i have 200 workers or like certain amount of workers and if everyone uh, works only making guns you get 150 guns or 150 gallons of butter to make it easy but if you if you get it more around the middle you can get probably more amount of more so you can get 110 guns and 50 gallons of butter or one, 50 guns and 140 gallons of butter which is actually more efficient well, they're all efficient because they're all using the resources, but the ones around the middle will probably get you, get you the most. Um, yeah, and so, um, production possibilities frontier. It's very important that you need to know this because this is one of the graph, the model you'll be seeing the most in mac microeconomics AP course. So here it is. Hope you, uh, yeah, hope you learned something.